we think that the known universe is larger than we, we can observe? Well, one point is that it's um, expanding and, and we always see the same radiation out there, so the glow of the Big Bang. But there are some deeper reasons. Um, that one, uh, from the theory of inflation, the, 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 the best way to explain the universe, the properties that we see, is that it's very much bigger than the piece we can see. So, for example, we measure space to be what's called flat. I don't even have to say what's called flat. It is flat. <laughs> so if you imagine slices of space, let's imagine slices of them at different times. So, so you just slice the universe and, and say, there's a big sheet. It's like this okay, table. Like a table. There's a sheet of space, and there's another sheet, another sheet. And it can, it can have a geometry, right? It can be flat, like a tabletop, or it could be curved, uh, like a sphere, or it could be curved in the opposite direction, sort of like a saddle or a bowl. And we can measure that. And when we measure it, we see it's absolutely flat. And that's a very unusual thing for it to be like. Um, it requires, because what, what Einstein's theory says is that the, the shape of space, that the curvature of space is determined by the stuff that's in it. That's, that's basically Einstein's theory of general relativity. Put stuff in space and it curves it and bends it and warps it and stretches it and so on. And what we find is that we, there's precisely the right amount of stuff in the universe to have a completely flat universe. And the, the, the explanation, the most favoured explanation for that is the universe is way bigger than the piece we can see. And so it's like looking at a piece of the Earth. Like you look at a little one mile square of the Earth, right, and it's... It, it's flat, right? You have to look at big distances, kind of of order the radius of the Earth, or not, you know, bigger, bigger than one kilometer anyway, or one mile, to see that actually you're on a curved surface. And that's one of the ideas about the, the universe and why it appears to be the way that it is, because it's way, way bigger. So we just, we're just looking at a little piece, and that's why it looks flat. And that's one of the ideas.